this is Stumpy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video, and another video inside of Stumpy's uh, lovely world. Good morning, William Beaver, good morning, Polly Reindeer, and good morning, Fizzy Elephant. I was going to turn around to see where you are emerging from. Hello, everybody, another sunny day inside of my lovely world. It doesn't rain very much. Does it rain at all in my lovely world? I don't know if weather's turned off or not. Maybe it is. Maybe I should turn it back on. But then again, I do enjoy the endless sunny days. Something that we don't get in England in real life very much. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's go and uh, have my uh, breakfast. Nom, 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 nom. Um, very tasty. Butterby, you can stand up and you can follow me and I will go and head down to the Love Garden. And if you're wondering what we're doing today, we are beginning work on a, another mini game over in my fun land. Uh, we're going to be using one of the uh, the newest mechanics that has been... Actually, not one of the newest. It's been, it's been in the game for a while. A mechanic that I have not used before in the game, which is good because uh, any time I think I'm running out of idea, they, uh, ideas, they add something new to the game and then I can build something new out of it. And that is what we're going to be doing today. But first, to the Love Garden. And I am going to add Kai. And the reason I'm adding Kai is because of this amazing picture that they did of me here strolling along, happily carrying my cake. And they did the thing that I always say I love, where they merged like a kind of real life human style Stampy uh, with a like a cat version of Stampy uh, and it's kind of anime style. So yeah. I think it's just fantastic. Thank you so much, Kai, and welcome to my love garden. All uh, right, then, let's go and uh, drop Barnaby off at the uh, the doghouse. I will choose which doggy is going to be joining us today, and then we're going to be teleporting over to the fun land, and conveniently, we are building right next to one of the teleporters, so a very quick commute today. And uh, Sherbet, I don't think you'll join me for a while, so you can stand up and you can join me. Uh, Barnaby is nowhere to be seen. <laughs> Barnaby! <laughs> Barnaby! But if you get over there, you're you having a little bath, are you, Barnaby? Come out of the bath. Go over here, Barnaby. You've been, you're in a cheeky mood today, but I think Barnaby's in a cheeky mood. You can sit down there and you can have a, uh, a nice uh, bone to, to chew on. Uh, right then, uh, let's go and uh, head down to the uh, the secret base where we can go and uh, teleport over to where we're building. And it's one of the really satisfying times where what we're building just fit in exactly uh, with like one of the uh, the plots that I had left in my fun land. And that always makes me like really, really happy for some reason. <laughs> anyway, let's go to the, uh, the teleporter. We need to press button number two and let's teleport off to the Funland. Okay, I think I should have just about arrived at the uh, the Funland. And this is a teleporter that was already there. And this is where we're building. It literally could be said, oh, hello. Hello, Gregory Jr. I guess Gregory Jr. has decided to, to join us today as well as Sherbert. So yeah, this is where we're building. Like, I needed, like, an area that was 23 blocks along. And I don't really need to count them. You can take my word for it. This is just exactly 23 blocks along, which makes me so happy. So right then. And let me start what the game's going to be. So basically, I'm going to be using scaffolding. That's the uh, the new mechanic uh, that I was uh, alluding to uh, that we're going to be building out of. Uh, so yeah, basically, it's going to be a game where you're building bridges with scaffolding. Because the way the scaffolding works is that uh, if you do, like, build a bridge along from scaffolding, uh, basically uh, if you then destroy the tower, all of the scaffolding goes and falls down. So it's going to be a game where you're trying to get from one side uh, to the other, uh, to your opponent's side, where they're trying to do the same. And you can build bridges, uh, then you can also destroy the towers to go and uh, knock down other people's bridges. But you can also rebuild towers uh, as well, in case you kind of get like completely stuck at some point, and then you <laughs> you need to, to get uh, across. So it's going to be kind of like, I guess, board game style is the way I, I describe it. Turn-based, I guess, is another way to describe it. Basically, you take turns, so it's much more about like the uh, the strategy rather than the speed. And oh yeah, the way you destroy the towers. Oh yeah, guys, do you wanna? Yeah, I don't need to tell you, do I? Carry on. Uh, <laughs> I guess while they do that, I'll start filling in some of the area. So yeah, the the way you destroy the towers is by using fishing rods. So underneath each of the uh, the towers of scaffolding, uh, there's going to be a bunch of pressure plates that will set off a piston, which will knock down the the tower, and you activate them by using the fishing rod. But you only have a certain amount of action per go and so say if you are trying to to knock down the uh the the tower if you use your fishing rod but you fail if you miss or if you knock down the wrong tower then you're out you have well not you're out but that's your whole go you don't get another attempt basically so there's a bit of a of a skill based thing with your accuracy with a fishing rod uh, but mainly uh, it's just down to, to the strategy uh, for how well you can do so in terms of color schemes uh, i've gone for a a lovely dark charcoal gray which is going to be for the the floor but all right it's not going to be a really dull looking game. It's going to be quite colourful because I decided to use uh, some of the uh, the newer uh, types of uh, wood. So I'm going to be using warped 
stem and crimson stem. And the reason for that is because I needed to use a bunch of pressure plates and I wanted to use fences as well. So I wanted to use one of the materials that I can do pressure plates and fences out of, uh, which is of course uh, basically only wood. Uh, I guess you could kind of do stone, but then you need a wooden pressure plate for the um, the, the the fishing rod. Uh, so yeah, we're going to be using that on the, uh, the hole outside and these are just kind of two uh, kind of colourful versions. And then there's going to be a bunch of lanterns on the floor, which will look pretty, but also be a little bit of an obstacle because you could get your fishing rod uh, caught on them. But basically, it's a way to light up the game without just having like a million torches all over the places, which is what I, uh, I normally end up doing. So uh, let me... Uh, go and start doing some of the uh, the fences around the outside. So yeah, help us. You want to just go and fill all of this in with dark grey for now. Uh, while you do that, I'm going to make myself a crafting table. And special day today, this is officially my 5 millionth crafting table I've made in my lovely world. I wonder how many I've actually made. Here's a wonder. Here's a wonder? Is that a sentence? I guess it kind of makes sense. Here's something to wonder about. Uh, have I made more crafting tables in my lovely world that I have episodes of my lovely world. What do you reckon? What do you reckon I've done more of? Do you reckon I've done more um, oh, what, what am I missing? Oh, I need I need to just make way more sticks, I think. That's why I'm doing this so slowly. Uh, yeah, I wonder what you think I've made of. I, I reckon I've made more episodes than crafting tables. As bad as I am <laughs> with doing, like, loads of crafting tables, I still do reckon that I have done more episodes than crafting tables, because even though some episodes I do make multiple crafting tables, there's also some episodes where I don't craft any, so I think that's kind of, like, evened out a little bit. Uh, Strength and Helpers, if you kind of copy what I'm doing, uh, so we're going to do fences uh, around the outside, Eventually, we are going to be adding a, a bit of variety to some of these fences a little bit later on, but uh, I won't worry about that for now. Uh, but it's going to be like half and half. God, how did I make the? I'm so slow at crafting in bedrock. I hate crafting in bedrock because you know, like every time you go to craft something, it suddenly just like switches where it is, and I kind of rather just like hold it down and make loads of it. So like I just I just I'm, I never like fully understand how many of a thing I'm crafting when I'm crafting something. So there we go. Let's go make all of those into planks. We need a bunch of them. Then let's just go make loads of. Stuff. Okay, I made a a lot of sticks there and there we go there's like basically a whole stack oh yeah so will oh sorry <laughs> sorry william i saw i saw the moment you realize he's like building away doing a great job stamp is gonna be so proud and then just turns around and just sees that <laughs> it's the wrong color so we're, do we're doing half and half so this is gonna be the oh, i forget the name so this is gonna be the warped side and i guess the other side is gonna be the crimson side and then uh, if someone can kind of work out where about halfway is uh, and then from there, uh, we'll be able to um, to, to work it out. And oh, we haven't. Oh, we haven't gone. Oh, we haven't gone the whole way down yet. Actually, I didn't realize oh, we haven't done the the floor yet. This floor needs to go all the way to the end. So you can see the way this bit here. I was thinking it all felt a little bit cramped in. Yeah, guys, we haven't done all the uh, the floor yet. So this is going to go all the way to to here. And so then once it does, we'll work out where the middle is. Oh, so maybe maybe William was right, and it was me being a a fool. I didn't realize all of the uh, the floor was done yet. So yeah, I'll leave them to to start doing that. I'll leave Fizzy to to start tying up the llamas. And <laughs> dare do that i'm gonna start building uh what's gonna be kind of like one of the uh the entrance areas to the game so i'm just gonna make some of these here and oh no i realized i shouldn't have made it all into planks because i did need some of the other uh, logs but that's okay i can switch that around easily enough later on so basically i need to go one block in here then i need to go one two and then place this first one here and so this is going to be the way you get up so the towers of scaffolding and uh, they're not going to be tall uh, they're only going to be like a couple blocks high uh that you're going to be able to to go on uh, but then this is going to go the whole way along here and this is the starting area and it's important that this isn't made out of scaffolding because the scaffolding when you destroy the tower it will all stay in place but only for um six blocks so say if i have a tower and it's destroyed all of the scaffolding will stay raised like this for six blocks along so if i had scaffolding here it would kind of make it like a little bit too stable because we did quite a few tester games uh, of this game and it's kind of amazing how many different strategies there are and we always kind of felt like we had the the game pretty like sussed out in terms of like what you're meant to do and what the best strategy is but then we kind of kept coming up with new strategies just while we were still kind of coming up with the the rules and then we realized that we should stop doing that because <laughs> we, we didn't want to like get practice too much before we end up playing in a, an actual tournament so we kind of kind of stopped playing around and so we're going to going uh, going in relatively vanilla when we go into the tournament so basically when you start the game you're going to go up here there's going to be all of the different towers here with just three blocks gap so it'll basically go like one two three and there'll be a tower there and then you're trying to build your way across to get all the way to the uh, the other side so hopefully i've explained how the game's going to be what i've just built out of here 
These bits were meant to be logs, but I accidentally turned. Actually, oh, does anyone have some uh, some warped planks as actual logs that they could lend to me? Because then we could actually change it over now. Then I wouldn't have to worry about doing it later. Uh, and then what we're going to do for uh, some of the decoration is we're going to do. Oh, I don't want to talk about the decoration. Light grey instead of dark grey. Oh, thank you. Oh, oh, oh that's okay. I only need. Uh, <laughs> you've already given me uh, enough of what I need. I think. Maybe a few more warps. Don't use me just to clear out all of your inventory, Fizzy. That was I wasn't asking whether you want to use me as a bin. That isn't what I was that isn't what I was requesting, Fizzy. So yeah, let me I can leave the stairs, because they obviously need to be planks because you can't do log stairs. So uh, just to add a bit of variety, I was gonna do these logs like that. Because once again, it's something that I've just not really uh, built out of uh, very much in my lovely world. And it also kind of helps mark the um the two sides, because it's kind of like the uh, the team colours, uh, I guess. So I kind of quite like it for for that way uh but then yeah once i've done this i'm gonna get a, a move on doing some of the uh the lanterns uh just because uh it's gonna be getting dark soon and i need to be able to see what i'm doing and oh my inventory is completely filled up now fizzy now why do you even have carrots on you as uh, so yeah these lanterns are just gonna be put down like this and then you go along by three so you go one two three then it should be another one here like that. I believe that's right because these would be built across one, two, three, and then there'd be a tower there, which means, yeah. So basically this is where all of the pressure plates would be surrounding it. And then these lamps basically go in between uh, where the areas where the pressure plates are where you could knock them down and uh, we'll be building all of that stuff in the uh, the next episode uh, Kind of zero redstone. I mean there's gonna be uh, There's gonna be pistons that have like pressure plates directly on top of them But no like actual like redstone redstone if uh, <laughs> if that makes sense No actual no repeaters no flippity flops none of those shenanigans basically just as I say simple piston with pressure plates on top of them So uh, I know that will even be making you very happy or you'll be disappointed for one of you that are mechanically minded and like doing that stuff so all uh, right help us do you want to help me fill in all these lanterns so basically just do a grid with a gap by three so you go one two three and then you can kind of break that away uh put in the the gray and put the lantern on just like that then you go oh look we can team up here fizzy one two three do one there one two three oh look at this extreme level of collaboration and that will go there one, two. It's actually really hard as I can't see. Uh, we, yeah, we need to get the lanterns down so I can actually see enough to, to count along. So one, two, three. I believe this one should go here. Uh, so yeah, uh, help us. I'll leave you to go and uh, carry on doing these lanterns. Oh, it looks so pretty, doesn't it? It looks so good at night. And then yeah, I'm going to do um, what I was talking about with some of the fences on the, uh, the outside. Uh, you know what I might do first though? is I might just make like a chest uh, just to like empty a bunch of stuff in because <laughs> seeing as Fizzy used me as a walking cat shaped bin I just <laughs> I just have too much stuff uh, completely clogging up all of my inventory so let's go and clear out just uh, some of this stuff uh, so you may have noticed um, <clears throat> excuse me ow oh hello goodbye oh there's two of you twins Goodbye. Uh, yeah, you may have noticed some of my eagle-eyed viewers that I have a bunch of birch on me uh, as well. Uh, and you may be wondering why. Uh, and that is just to, to add a, a bit of a, of a light accent to, to kind of some of these fences around the uh, the, the outside. Uh, so basically, uh, it's going to be very simple to do because it's just in line with where the fences are. So first off, I'm just going to go here and add these in there like that. Uh, it's important to have a gate because when I was designing this game in my sketchbook world, uh, I just had it all out in the open uh, and the problem with that is I'm using a pickaxe to break this which I shouldn't do uh, yeah the problem with that is all of the animals would wander in and there's all these pressure plates that would just make the towers collapse so every time I turned around five of the towers had collapsed because a pig had wandered in and just got and destroyed the, the whole thing so the fences are extremely important because otherwise they could uh, completely ruin some of the games so yeah basically the whole way along here so it kind of lines up being every three uh, we're going to add the birch uh, fences in the reason for the that is as I did the two sides and then there'd be the point here where they met in the middle and I couldn't decide what colour to put there and I was like oh I'm going to do birch and I kind of just like the look of it I just like the, the way the birch just kind of fits in with the, the rest down there and I was like you know what I like that so much I'm just going to add it in the, the whole way round and I think I mean, you may disagree, but I think it actually kind of uh, fits in quite nicely. And this mini game, like, I know it's not like some crazy, wacky design that I'm going to win some artistry award for or something, but I quite look at the, 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 like, the look of it. I think it doesn't really look like anything else in my, 
in my in my um uh in my funland at all like i know a lot of my things in my funland look quite quite similar i suppose you know i like to use bright colored wall and i like symmetry and stuff but i think just the fact that i use like the dark gray and then these new types of blocks i think that um yeah for a relatively uh, simple game i do think it's going to stand out and just from the um the few testigos that I said that we had uh, inside of my um, uh, sketchbook world. I do think it's going to be a fun one. I think this is going to be one that you could keep coming back to and keep kind of playing like different versions of and like and still keep on enjoying it the the whole way. Uh, so right, uh, I'm going to go do the uh, the bit on the other side. Uh, I'm going to throw some birch uh, fences over this fence here. Uh, Polly, Fizzy, if you want to go and just kind of carry on. Uh, doing what I was doing. So if you just line it up with those lamps, uh, it should be uh, okay. Uh, and then I am going to go over here and I'm going to make another crafting table. That's two two so far I <laughs> in this episode. I'm not going all the way back over there. Uh, yeah, the reason to do that is I need to make some, uh, some steps. Uh, so let's make some more of these first, then let's make some more steps. Uh, and basically I need to do the same that I did on that side down there. So I had to go one in here. No, what, where's it? Oh, I guess I can just line it up like that. So there we go. That goes there. And then uh, I need to have uh, some planks. Let's just go make a, a bunch more of these planks. Uh, and then I need to remember to use the logs and not turn all of these into planks like I did in the uh, the last side. And then I think we're going to be basically done for what we need to, be, uh, to do today. It's actually like in terms of building, it's a relatively simple game. Like all of the... Um, the time spent with this game was doing the rules, working out exactly the size of it, like can you destroy a tower every turn is that too strong and like because it's the sort of game that could end up being like a stalemate like it could turn into like a situation where i build a tower then you destroy the tower then i build the tower and then you destroy the tower and it just goes back and forth without anyone winning because the thing with the game is you're building your own bridges to get across to the other side but there's no rule saying you can't go on the other person's bridges so it might get to a case where you're meeting in the middle and you're trying to get to their bridge to try trying to get across to to the other side and how good do these logs look the logs are like glowing that's amazing uh, yeah so you're trying to do that to get across to the other side so what you might want to do is destroy all of the logs that you or the scaffolding sorry that's behind you so then that way, if they do get onto your bridge, they can't use the bridge that you just placed to get all the way back to your own side. Does that make sense? Basically, like, self-sabotage is, like, a totally valid and optional way uh, that you could um, try to, to make sure you uh, you win. And I'm kind of looking forward to seeing, like, like what all of my different helpers' strategies going to be. Uh, when we end up doing it in the, uh, the actual minigame. But it looks so cool! It's, I think it's the lanterns and then the glowing wood. Just really make the uh, the whole thing uh, stand up. So uh, as you can see, uh, William is uh, <laughs> as always endlessly digging <laughs> and getting ready. So here, this is the where the uh, the tubes of scaffolding, tubes of uh, pillars, uh, columns, I guess, of scaffolding uh, are going to be uh, going up the uh, the top. Uh, Fizzy's just uh, going around uh, digging a little extra bit down there. So yeah, this is getting it all ready. So in the next episode, we can come in and just get all of the pistons done and hopefully get that done quite quick, and then we can go and uh, test out the the game and make sure it's all working properly but apart from that that is going to be the end of uh, this episode here i want to say a huge thank you to all of my helpers for uh yeah getting this built so quickly considering this was just like a field when we arrived here not 20 minutes ago it's kind of amazing how much uh, we can get done uh, so quickly uh, and of course i want to say a big thank you to you for watching and i'll see you all in the next one bye